welcome to the wave crypto club we talk about a lot of things crypto we've been discussing about the derivatives market the derivatives market is worth over 1 quadrillion dollars that's huge and it's probably the largest market out there every financial market in the world has a derivatives market and the crypto market is also now developing a huge derivatives market this is such a big space that i feel any crypto that's going to come in here and take even the slightest of market share can have a huge potential hence we are analyzing a series of cryptos in this space today we'll be looking at a token called uma before that we'll look at the what exactly derivatives are just in case you're not aware what this is a very simple explanation derivatives are used for essentially two purposes uh, at least two purposes speculation and hedging i'll give you the example of hedging now imagine you're a company that is buying oil right you you need to buy oil maybe for your industry or whatever purpose today the oil uh, is priced at 62 dollars let's say or in november it's at 62 dollars you're afraid that in december in one month the oil price can shoot up what do you do you go you go and buy a futures contract for oil at a predetermined price let's say at 62 dollars now there is an oil company that is willing to sell it uh, you know based on this contract why do they want to do it the seller wants to do it because seller is also hedging his risk one he feels that maybe the oil price will drop while you as a buyer feel that the oil price might increase so both of you are getting into a contract and maybe one of you gets the benefit of what actually happens right not both of you might win the other reason could be that the seller wants predictable prices he doesn't want the spikes he doesn't want the uh, troughs of the oil market and he he's okay with getting predictable prices he wants to know exactly how much he's going to earn in december that is another reason why he would get into this contract now a number of cryptos are do, uh, getting into this we discussed synthetics in the last uh, video you can check out that video in the description it's probably even flashing on your screen the other crypto that we are looking at today is uh, uma this is another amazing crypto that's in this space it stands for uh, you know it's it's essentially a decentralized protocol uh, it stands for universal ma uh, market access uh, it was founded in 2018 by two people called alison lu and hart lambert now what is interesting about them is that they are both goldman sachs traders ex goldman sachs traders uh, they are from stellar places like MIT and uh, Columbia University so that makes it a stellar team that is uh, you know with which has experience in the space they have domain expertise and hence um, you know team wise i feel this is great i usually evaluate a token based on six parameters team tokenomics utility activity roadmap and stakeholders team wise this is amazing then if you look at the roadmap over the last few years they have had some major upgrades major launches they have been hitting their roadmaps um, you know they have been hitting what they have uh, trying to plan uh, i'll show you another rating which tells you how closely how well are they hitting it we, you know we'll look at that but before that let's just analyze who are the investors is that a good list of investors i i think you know having an investor like coinbase or blockchain capital that is that itself is 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 a true testimony of of the product it gives some sort of secure, uh, assurance that Uh, this token is not a scam that's the only thing that i look for when i'm looking at investors because investors typically do a due diligence right they typically uh, you know they have the technical the legal expertise to go out there and do due diligence before putting in their money some of them might even bring in strategic expertise but broadly these are the two factors why i look at investors so if there is a great investor out there then you are piggy backing on the uh, due diligence that he's already done so that's a good sign that they have some good investors in terms of tokenomics it's a fixed supply with a, a very small inflation as a 0.05 inflation per vote um however most of the tokens today are held by the founders the founding team and the investors that's a little bit of a concern i'll show you that uh, when we analyze the share of ownership as well in terms of technology uh, in terms of audits there have been certain audits that have been flagged um you know for in this case for instance in april 2020 at least 29 issues ranging from high severity to low severity were flagged uh, and all these issues have been fixed or accepted by the uh, umar team so that's great and another one in may 2020 they revealed at least 12 issues from high to low severity all of them have been fixed or accepted by the team so that's good that they are acknowledging it and fixing it then there's the white paper a very very detailed white paper what impressed me 
uh, with this white paper compared to let's say the synthetics white paper is that this one was more detailed this one actually gave you real use cases for you know somebody like you and me to understand we'll walk we'll, we'll let's let's go over a few of these use cases i, I found six use cases that they have beautifully explained um how uh, this differs from synthetics is that here you're actually entering into a contract between two parties so there is a counterparty but in synthetics you're entering into a, a contract with the protocol that's the difference between uh, you know uma and synthetics now investing in us stocks uh, for developing world this is the first use case i've been stressing on this fact that these kind of protocols right, uh, derivatives in the crypto space or synthetic assets in the crypto space allow for global borderless transactions to happen uh, you can today take advantage of let's say stocks in the us things that you could never invest in before you're sitting in india you can get the advantage of price movements of let's say tesla if you're a big tesla fan you can actually invest and get the price advantage of the or the price movements exposure to price movements of the tesla stock that is a really a big use case then there is decentralized life insurance um there is shorting a basket of altcoins there is you know getting a loan on your portfolio of cryptos um there there is uh, investing into robo advisors and i believe one more which is accounting and compliance friendly investing for untraceable cryptocurrencies like zcash and monero so this is essentially a big use case this is because a lot of institutional investors they have to go through a number of approval stages what this essentially does is cuts down that approval stage it makes it very simple for them to invest and i feel a lot of institutional investors will get in because of this feature that has opened up who has partnered with uma a lot of projects a lot of projects uh, about 95 million is the total value locked today there are a number of projects that have partnered with them that have that are utilizing this protocol so you know ecosystem wise that's that's do, doing well in terms of the defi pulse where i typically look at the activity now if you see this the to- total value locked sort of peaked somewhere maybe 169 million 200 million uh, over a year ago and now it has dropped uh, it has dropped to you know maybe 18 million the numbers are a little conflicting from what they are suggesting to what i'm seeing here but broadly we can say that numbers have dropped drastically i did not see such a drop in synthetics so that's a bit of a concern the rating wise you know token token insight gives them a 60 um 3 3 and a half 4 and a half kind of uh, rating for each parameter uh, another rating agency has also given them 61 uh, base crypto rating has given them 60 it's not like the 80s or the 90 ratings that we saw for token uh, for uh, synthetics it's lower than that but uh, you know decent ratings i'm comparing uh, these ratings with another uh, rating agency called ways ratings where they have given ratings for each of them i'm just comparing them for a few parameters here uma synthetics ftx and serum all of which are in the derivative space market performance wise you know these guys are all doing bad but technology and adoption wise is where i see a b minus uh, right what does these b minus and all stand for essentially when they say a or b it means a buy or a strong buy and when they say c it's hold or avoid and d and e for sell or strong sell while this one is at c so it means according to ways at least uh, either you hold or you know you know you you be careful of it so if you are a low risk investor then stay out of this token but if you are an investor with a decent moderate risk then you might want to get into this because even compared to its peers it's somewhere on the same line then there is the analysis of holders and so on if you look at this uh, leftmost metric here only 2% of people who are holding uh, this token today are making any profit right 98% are in loss 96% uh, of the tokens are held by you know large in uh, holders and this is a concern because if they decide to dump then your whole token price can go for a toss the lower this number the better is what i always feel and this is a significantly high number price correlation with bitcoin however is lower 0.7 that's a good sign um holder composition by time held more than more like 63% of the crowd has held it, held this for more than a year uh, which makes sense because you know these are all large holders most of the tokens are actually held by the founding team and the early investors so this sort of makes sense all of those who would have probably invested last year are, st- are still in loss 
um, and including the investors actually many of them who would have probably invested more than a year ago are actually in loss so that's a bit of a concern given that last year was a huge bull run for uh, you know the crypto market in general now in terms of price they're trading somewhere close to 2.7 2.8 dollars they are about 93 percent down from its all-time high uh, there's a couple of other things that i felt was very interesting and important to view in terms of security um, there's an overall score of 85 percent by DeFi safety 61 percent by another uh, you know rating agency is there something concerning uh, from what i checked no major audit issues nothing major that is concerning uh, today the market cap is around 183 million now is this a good buy what would the price prediction be i personally feel that given that the market for derivatives itself is low so large and a technology in cryptos that are trying to disrupt this can make it borderless can make it uh, you know literally on steroids can not just uh, you know the already one quadrillion market can probably expand further that's what i really feel and each one of these protocols even if they get the slightest of market share the, even the smallest of market share they are able to command a huge market cap what i feel strongly about this protocol compared to let's say synthetics is that you know their technology the fact that they had a team which 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 had previous experience uh, being goldman sachs traders um, one this team if if at all in in some in some way possible they could get goldman sachs or some institutional investors to start using this then the usage would would go up the token price would obviously go up because adoption is great largely i see this as an institutional or a, a whale use case and hence uh, you know the ties to former in uh, to their former companies matter a lot if they are able to materialize it now the second aspect of it is that i felt the technology of uma was amazing they were much better in uh, you know personally i felt it was much better than what let's say a synthetics was doing and that i feel somewhere has an edge maybe when it comes to adoption maybe this technology will get adopted more that's why i am bullish although on many factors synthetics was much better than uma and hence i feel that given their market cap of about 183 million even if they go back to the 40 dollar uh, you know 41 dollar kind of a price level that is still a 20x from where it is today right? that seems great honestly seems great even if it goes up 20x but i personally feel if this market explodes it can go up 400x right? this is one of those tokens you want to risk uh, and you know which can give you that 300 400x kind of returns but that's only if adoption happens so i'm giving you all this data so that you can cut short your research time you can you already have ready information and you know places to go and start researching so do that this is not financial advice this is just educational content to help you learn about it if it made sense to you you know go ahead start researching and only then choose to buy um and i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it then please hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon tell your friends about it and uh, welcome to the wave crypto club